Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to read the connection string from a app.config file. For that, I'm going to create a new project. So file, new, project, then Windows form, app, give it a name, and then click OK. And right here in the toolbox, I'm going to drag and drop a label and then right click and properties and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to change the font, make it a little bit bigger and I'm also going to change the name LBL. The next thing is to open your solution explorer and you need to check right here on the references if you have the reference to system.config and on my project, I do not see the system.config. Because of that, I'm going to right click on references and add a reference. Over assembly on framework, I want to find the system.configuration, this one right here. And then I'm going to check on that. Click OK. And now I have the system.configuration reference right here in my project. So my project is good now. The next thing is to go back to the form. I'm going to double click right here on the form. And that creates a method that gets called whenever the form loads. So right here, I want to read the connection string from the app.config file. So first, let's go to the app.config file and actually create a connection string there. So go back to the Solution Explorer and then look for your app.config and double click on it. So inside the app.config, right here, after the startup and inside the configuration, I'm going to create a connection string tag. And inside the connection string, I'm going to add a connection string. The name equals whatever you want it to be. I want to name my, my connection string. And then the actual connection string. I already have one here for testing purpose, so I'm just going to copy and paste. The last thing you need is your provider. And mine happens to be the system.data.sql clients. And that's because I'm connecting to a Microsoft SQL server. So that's all for the connection string. Now go back to your form1.cs. And to read the connection string from the app form, I'm going to first declare a variable string connection string equals system dot configuration dot configuration manager dot connection strings. And then right here, the name of the connection string I have on the app config. So I'm going to go back to the app config and I'm going to copy the name. And I'm going to paste right here. And then dot connection string. So this line, line 23 just reads the connection string from the app.config file and stores on the connection string. And now all I want is to display this connection string on that label I created on the page. So I'm going to run this program. Whenever it loads, it just sets the connection string on that label. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.